Listen, I'm really, truly losing faith in my brand. Ann Hoover is on yet another call with RBC. She spent hours fighting for more than $1,700 stolen from her account after she e-transferred her friend. I wouldn't have done it if, it if I didn't think it was safe. RBC said the email of the friend receiving the money had been hacked and Hoover used a weak security question. The manager continued to insist that the Royal Bank had done everything that they could and that they were secure, that it wasn't really their problem, it was now our problem. Online, RBC tells customers they're fully protected and will be reimbursed for any unauthorized transactions. Deep in the fine print, it says customers must use passwords and security questions that are unique and that cannot be easily guessed. It's just sort of this denial and pushing of uh, any kind of responsibility onto the customer. I will show you uh, a couple of dark web sites. This cybersecurity expert says lists of emails and passwords are bought and sold on so-called dark websites. There are hundreds, if not thousands, in just this one alone. So, he says, financial institutions should make mandatory stronger protections for e-transfers, like two-factor authentication involving a password and a code that arrives as a text message or a separate email. They should be forcing users to, be, to use two-factor and not just give it to them as an option. Every user needs to have their account protected to the best of their ability, not to the minimum standard. In the end, RBC gave Ann Hoover half the money stolen from her account, but she and her friend have sworn off ever using e-transfer again. Erica Johnson, CBC News, Vancouver. So how do you protect yourself? Experts recommend changing your email passwords often. They also have some general tips. Now, you may have heard them before, but they are worth repeating. Create passwords that are impossible to guess. Don't tell people your passwords. Don't use the same password for multiple sites. Try using a password manager. Use software to protect against viruses and spyware. And do a credit check once a year just to make sure there has been no unauthorized activity.